What's up, YouTube? So today, well, not today, at some point, somebody told me that there was a cat stuck in my muffler. Now, I haven't heard any meowing or anything like that, so I'm not sure if it's that type of cat. But, we're going to get it out of there today. Yesterday, when I was riding this thing, we were riding pretty hard. I gave a bunch of people rides. I, I've been meaning to give riding footage of this thing, but every time I go, I just, it's so fun that I forget to even set up anything. But, the whole exhaust is glowing cherry red, and I guess it's supposed to do that, but the, this is a turbo model, if you didn't know that already. But the turbo's gonna create some heat, because it's a restriction in the exhaust flow. So it wants to be free flowing all the way out, like it'd rather not even have a muffler. But, I don't want it to be really loud. I don't want to spend lots of money on a aftermarket exhaust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the factory muffler off. We're going to gut the cat. The catalytic converter in this thing is going to be gone here shortly. And I guess what I need to do first is give you before and after sound if possible. You probably won't be able to tell the difference, but we're going to try it. So before you assholes start commenting saying you should have let it warm up and all that, I've already given my mother-in-law a route around the neighborhood, so she's nice and warm already. So only thing left to do now is to start up and produce a before sound clip. So now that the sound clip's out of the way, we can take this plastic thing off to get to the muffler. There are star bits, so you need to have a star bit set. So now that you've taken this plastic thing off, we're going to take these three bolts here off on this flange, and then it looks like that it's just held on with a bunch of springs. If you don't have one of these ratchets, you should get one. So once you get those springs out, this pulls off. So, if you're like me, you're going to wonder what it sounds like without the muffler at all. Which is right there, on the floor. So I think it's only fair that we start it up. See what it sounds like straight piped. Here we go. Damn, that's loud. That's way louder than I thought it was going to be. So, let's get to working on this exhaust. And now the sucky part, you actually have to cut it. I don't recommend cutting this if you don't know how to weld, but you could get your friend to weld it. So, let's get to it. Now we got the muffler off. We're going to make a couple uh, reference point lines so that we know that we're lined up perfectly. And we got to weld this thing back on because that is the worst part about this you have to chop this 90 here off so you can get to the cap that's in the muffler and actually let me get this out of the vise real quick and i'll show you you can see the discoloration on the back it's wet because i washed it but you can see the discoloration on the back of it because it's been getting so hot mufflers don't do that so, we're going to get it clean. Clean it out. No more cat. 
no more felines in this here muffler. So let's get to cutting it and make it better. So I was going to use the angle grinder, but I think this sawzall will get the job done just as good. So I'm going to saw right down along this weld. So I'll end up welding this 90 to the weld that's already there. No turn back now. So I'm going to show you now the cat. The catalytic converter that's inside the muffler. There it is right there. I don't know how good you can see it. It's not that great. But that is basically a restriction in the exhaust. Whoa. There it goes. So once we get that out of there, the performance of this here muffler will do... A whole lot better it might be a little bit louder I don't expect it to be a ton louder which I don't want it to be louder I just want it to be cooler the main objective here is to gain a little bit of sound but mainly we're gonna be able to dissipate some heat a whole lot better so now I'm gonna show you how to get that out of there now I know you've heard that catalytic converters have like platinum or whatever and that you could sell it I'm not worried about selling it we're gonna destroy it to get it out so I wouldn't you know plan on selling it if you're gonna do this method but let's get to it so to get it out of there drill big drill bit usually on cars what I've done is use like a metal not metal I want to say that a wood flat bit whatever you call those you know the ones that are flat and it will drill a hole through like a 2x4 or something like electricians use it or whatever that usually works pretty good for me but I don't have one of those right now and I have this big drill bit. So we're going to just drill a ton of holes in it and get all the debris out. And I'll probably collect it in a bucket or something. Try not to breathe any of this stuff because it's not good for you. But let's get after it. So once you've done a bunch of drilling, it's going to look like that, it's going to have a bunch of holes in it. Now you're going to be taking a hammer and a chisel, so that's what it should look like, Let's see if I can get a light in there, there we go. It's clear, i got to do a little bit more cleanup work, but it's completely clear and those holes that are drilled down there, that is the baffle. And I took, where is it? I took a, Jesus, my hair. I need a haircut bad. But I took a hole saw and an extended bit on my drill. And I stuck it down there and locked a hole in it. The size of the pipe. The biggest one I could get inside of there. So, I think it's going to work fine. Now we need to weld this 90 back on and reinstall it. And see what it sounds like. So, now it's time to line your elbow piece back up and weld it back on. So let's get to welding. Hopefully we don't make booger welds, which we probably will a little bit. This uh, not the most ideal setup here. I'm on a pretty long extension cord, which kind of kills the power a little bit. But, let's give this a try. So, got it all welded on there. Now I'm fixing to test fit it back on here, make sure everything's lined up good. I probably should have done that after I just tacked it, but I fully welded it. So, wish me luck. Uh, but I'm sure it's fine because I marked it in three spots. So, let's put it back on and see how it sounds.
So I don't know if you could tell anything by those clips, but it sounds different. It's not really any louder. Maybe it's a little bit deeper. Maybe. Um, I'll know more when I ride it again, but it definitely has a little bit more turbo whistle, which is always a cool thing. So that's good. But the main thing, like I said, was to keep the heat down. This should allow the heat to dissipate through the exhaust a little bit better. So that's what I was after. Not really a performance exhaust or a badass sounding exhaust or anything like that. Uh, basically just heat reduction. And I think I've succeeded in that, I'm sure. But if you like this video, if this was informative to you, hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel because I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers this year. Um, don't think that'll happen. At the time of this video, we're probably 4,500. So that's cool. Um, never thought I'd get that far, but comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna try it, and I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Um, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Maybe programmer, because you know, why not?